Hi, everybody, and welcome back to class two of Math 103. I just thought I'd take a few minutes to very quickly review how to get your PDFs ready to use them in class, okay, and where to save them and so forth, like I talked about in the first demo video. So I thought I'd just review it real quick, show you an example or two, and uh, hopefully that'll make things easier for you. Once you get used to doing this, it's a piece of cake, okay? So um, I'm gonna go over that in just a second. But what I just wanted to show you real quickly first is I actually, on my little pad or tablet that I got, I taped, as this photograph shows, a piece of cardboard a couple layers thick to the bottom of it. And the reason for that was so that, I did that so that my uh, hand feels comfortable writing when my uh, palm of my hand is off the tablet, as you can see from this second picture, okay? So I'm just gonna suggest to you that you use some heavy duty tape and you tape this cardboard to your tablet and it'll be easier for you to maybe write on it, okay? All right, now, Let's take a look at a couple things. First of all, I'm going to assume that you got the tablet. I'm going to assume that you already set up the files in your documents. One that says uh, PDFs from 103 and one that says PDFs returning to 103. And what I'd like to show you right now is how to simply get those ready and saved to get you ready to do and rock and roll uh, what you need to do in the class. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you an email that I sent myself. You can see my email has four PDF files across the top here that I've received. I want to download those so that I can use them during the class and also send them back to the professor, all right? So I'm gonna click on the first file, but I'm going to right click it. And when I do that, I go to save as. And when I go to save as, you will notice that some file may come up, but I wanna make sure, or one folder may come up, but I wanna make sure I'm in the correct folder that says, PDFs from 103. Notice that sample problems in there we used the other day. Notice the correct name is there and I simply hit save. Now that file is in the folder that I received things from 103. Now I'm going to right click the exact same file again and go to save as and you'll notice that it's in the PDFs from 103 folder but I want to resave it, all right? So I click on Documents, and I go down to PDFs returning to 103. I open that folder, and the name of the file is there, right? However, I want to click after it and put my initials in lowercase letters, and then hit save. Now that's the file I'm going to use to write on. And every time when I'm using the document tablet, all right, and I hit save, it's going to save it on the file name, that group work page two, GSK. It'll keep updating it and updating it and updating it. All right, now, so that is the file I'm going to attach to an email to send back to the professor, all right? Now, the other three files, I'm not gonna demo those. You do exactly the same thing. You right click them, put them in the first folder from 103. Right click it a second time, put it in the second folder, get yourself to the second folder, returning to 103 and put your initials after it. And that's the file, as you continually save and work on that file, that's the file you're going to email back to me. And as you probably already know, you can send 
three or four files easily back to me on one email. All right? You don't even have to write me a note. Just send me the file back. All right, send me an email back with those files attached. I'll know what's going on with them, okay? So that's how simple it is. So now what I'm going to do is demonstrate writing on one of these files so you can see, and I'm going to show you that when I save it, it stays there. So we'll take a look at that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going now back to my documents folder, all right, and in my documents folder, all right, I am going to double click where I put my initials in that folder and I'm going to bring up this file. Now, when I bring up this file, it is now ready to write on. So I simply click my pen and now I can write on this file. Now, I'm just going to write some junk on here, but all I got to do is just hit this and I can write on here all I want. Now, Say I've completed the work I wanted to do on that. All I have to do is go over here to the save button and I hit save. Now what happens is it asks me, do I want to replace this file over the one that's already there? It's the same name. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. So I just click yes and now it's all set and that what I wrote on there is now saved in my returning to Math 103. So every time I hit save over here, what will happen is if I have made any changes at all and I hit save, it asks me, do I want to replace it? And I want to say every time, yes, I do. So the latest change I have done will be saved. Let me put some more stuff on here. Okay, I'll put something down here like this. Okay, I will go to save. Since I just recently saved there, if I hit save, all right, it asks me if I want to replace it. Yes, I do. Now, here's what I want to show you. If I close out of this file, what will happen is, if I go to open it back up again, all I have to do is double click it to open it up. And when I open it up, you will notice that the file I get is the one I saved last time. So it has kept it updated. So that's the beauty of using this system. You just keep saving over and over again to the same PDF. And when you're all finished with it, you simply send it to me attached to an email. That all being said, let's go ahead now and take a look at today's lesson.